The Long Island serial killer. He's pleaded not guilty to a fourth murder charge as prosecutors release new evidence in the case. We're going to speak with the lead prosecutor in just a moment. First, let's go to Stephanie Ramos. Good morning, Stephanie. George, good morning. For more than a decade, the Gilgo Beach murders terrorized residents and stumped authorities on Long Island. Now, after years of investigating, technology seems to have caught up with evidence, leading police to Rex Hewerman. This morning, suspected serial killer Rex Hewerman indicted in the death of a fourth woman found murdered near Gilgo Beach in Long Island. We charged the murder of Maureen Brainerd Barnes to add to the, uh, to the already charged murders. Maureen Brainard Barnes' remains were found in 2010, along with three other women known as the Gilgo Four. Last July, Hewerman was arrested and charged with the murders of Melissa Barthelemy, Megan Waterman, and Amber Costello. In a new filing, prosecutors also say they have new DNA evidence connecting Hewerman to the murders, linking a hair found on a belt buckle used to restrain Miss Brainard Barnes's remains to his estranged wife, Asa Ellerup. A hair found with another victim's remains linked to their daughter, Victoria. The updated indictment included new details of the lengths investigators went to collect that DNA evidence. In May of 2023, undercover agents trailed Victoria Hewerman on a Long Island Railroad train, observing her drinking from a gold can seen here. They then retrieved that can from a trash bin for analysis. Brainard Barnes's daughter, Nicolette, speaking publicly for the first time since her mother disappeared when she was just seven years old. While the loss of my mom has been extremely painful for me, the indictment by the grand jury has brought hope for justice for my mom and my family. Hewerman has pleaded not guilty to all charges and is still being held without bail. His next court appearance is scheduled for next month. Authorities continue to investigate the unsolved deaths of at least six other victims found near Gilgo Beach. George. Okay, Stephanie, thanks. Now, first on GMA, we're joined live by the lead prosecutor in the case, Suffolk County District Attorney Raymond Turney. Thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you, George. So, so why did it take so long for this fourth indictment? Um, we were awaiting uh, DNA evidence as well as some, some other evidence uh, through the grand jury. Uh, so uh, we concluded our grand jury investigation on, on the Gilgo Four, and then uh, filed the indictment. Let's talk about that DNA evidence. It actually comes from the killer, from the killer's ex-wife. Uh, his defense attorney says this DNA is problematic. Well, it's cutting edge. Uh, the uh, the DNA itself was extra extracted from the hair back in 2010, uh, and at that time there were there was no method to obtain nuclear DNA profile from hair. Uh, that has since changed, uh, so we're on the cutting edge with regard to using this DNA analysis to obtain that. The what are the probabilities that it's actually connected to the killer? The uh, the, the smallest probability is one in uh, seven point nine trillion. Uh, the smallest. The smallest, and the other one is like uh, you know the, the the numbers are so large they're not even names for them. Pretty hard to get larger than 7.9 trillion. Um, six other bodies found around Gilgo Beach. Do you think that this suspect is responsible for any of those? So, you know, we started our investigation in uh, 2022 with the, the so-called Gilgo Four, which are the former murders we charged. We're now we've uh, we've segued into the court prosecution of those cases. We're going to look in. Uh, we're now going full bore on those other bodies, uh, as well as some other cases. And the grand jury is continuing. The grand jury is continuing. We're going to follow the same process for these other uh, open cases as we did for the, the ones that we've charged. Uh, Herman's ex-wife is, is reportedly participating in a documentary. It's angered a lot of the victims' families. Uh, what do you think about that? You know, I mean, she has the right to do, uh, you know, whatever whatever it is she, that, that she finds necessary. You know, my concern is with my case, and, you know, we, we uh, have a lot of uh, regard and respect for the victims, the way they've they've handled themselves and supported not only their family members but victims everywhere. You've been in close contact with all the victims. How are they handling all this? Um, you know, it's been very tough for them because for the last 13 years, uh, they've had this terrible thing happen, and it's sort of been this, uh, you know, sort of pop culture thing. Uh, and I think sometimes they feel as though the lives of their loved ones get sort of lost in the mix. Thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.